Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is how to download and install NoScript and then use NoScript to um, not only block sites but also allow sites to use JavaScript. Now the default is everything is just about everything is blacklisted. So the first thing you want to do is you could go to mozilla.com and do download the plugin or you could just go to NoScript.net and go directly there and download the plugin. Um, this is the website and obviously you can just head on over click on get it and then click on install NoScript latest version also if you're gonna use this make a donation you know a buck two bucks whatever um, help help support great tools like this because that's just the cool thing to do and uh, check out that cool icon that's gotta be the coolest icon I've seen in a long time anyway so we click on install NoScript latest version and it's going to take me over to mozilla.org's website. Click on install now. It's saying that it's unsigned, but that's okay. We trust this. So we're going to click install now. It has installed and it will install when Firefox is restarted. So we'll go ahead and close this. Close this. Close this. Restart Firefox. And you can see down here a little NoScript icon that, that is, has now been installed. There's a shortcut key, obviously, that you can see that comes up on the pop-up. But you can also click this and go into Options and take a look at some of the options here. I've already got some things pre-configured in here uh, from, from other, other times. Websites that uh, NoScript whitelists. He whitelists his own site, obviously. And a couple other sites, Technorati, Twit, YouTube some various uh, different websites that he has out. Now you can just type in websites here that you that you want to come in or you can just do it on the fly as things are running. You can completely turn it off. You can allow sites uh, open through bookmarks so if you've bookmarked a site and of course you want to automatically reload affected pages when the permissions change. You can change the appearance of no script. I think for now the, the, the base settings are fine everything looks good here and of course there are some advanced tab options here you can for forbid flash uh, forbid pings and things like that so let's head on over to a website and we'll use twit tv again as our example and twit, twit tv has been allowed so we can we can play this file here but here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna click on this icon and I'm gonna say forbid twit.tv and it's gonna reload the page automatically for me and you can now see that it's asking to download the flash player and you also get this nifty little pop-up bar that's super and you can click on options and you can either temporarily allow twit TV or you can choose to allow it at all times and that works as well so as you go to websites it will come up with options I'll go to my own website here and you'll see that it allows the scripting on my website as well so that's how you use NoScript and I hope that you'll use it to use safe pot, uh, browsing on the internet thanks bye